This is the Chewy HI12 Windows 10 and Android 5.1 Dual Boot with Active Stylus Support. Wow, that was a super long name for a tablet. This tablet has a Cherry Shore processor, 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage, and both Windows and Android. So I know I haven't actually started the review, but this screen is so good. Sure, the iPad and the Mi Pad 2 have similar levels of high res like Retina displays, but this one is just so much better. Okay, enough ranting here in my review. A little late I know, but here's my review, better late than never. Two things I immediately noticed when I first unboxed the Chewy HI12. First, it feels super high quality, and second, it's really heavy. This tablet has some serious quality behind it. It's fully metal and is really, really solid, but the metal seems to scratch really easily as well. You will also want to take off the screen protector as that makes the touch sensitivity pretty bad. The tablet is almost exactly the same size as the Surface Pro 3, but it's also about 50 grams heavier, which makes it 854 grams, which is quite heavy for a tablet. But keep in mind this tablet is 12 inches, which makes it really good to use. More on that later. You find the Windows button on the right side and the camera up top. Power and volume buttons are on top as well. All the ports are on the left side, two USB ports, one of them is a USB 3, micro USB, micro HDMI, micro SD card, and a headphone jack. The keyboard connectors are on the bottom. The back of the tablet is metal, and man does it look good. It's really easy to scratch though, so just watch out for that. The keyboard dock is still in transit, and once I get it, I'll update this review with the keyboard as well. So overall, the build quality here is actually really really good. It's solid, it won't snap or bend, however, it is really heavy and the back scratches pretty easily. And that actually bothers me more than it should because then I have to be pretty careful with the tablet. The Surface Pro 3 and this HI12 share the same display, and stuff looks impossibly clear. Color reproduction is absolutely amazing. Brightness goes up to 350 nits, which is pretty good for a tablet, but it's still a little bit hard to see in sunlight. And it still doesn't go up as high as, as the Surface Pro 3, which I suspect is probably Intel's power saving features. Viewing angles are good, on par with other high quality smartphone displays. If you notice that the screen sensitivity is terrible, take off the pre-installed screen protector. Once you do that, the screen sensitivity is so much better. But keep in mind that it's probably a little bit worse than other really really good tablets like the iPad or the Mi Pad 2. Glass here isn't Gorilla Glass, but it's tough enough to avoid slight scratches here and there. The screen also has active style support at 256 levels of pressure. However, it seems like it only works with the Chewy HI Pen and not with other styluses, so I will have to wait for my Chewy HI Pen to come to me before I can test it, and I will provide you with an update video as well. The speakers are placed on both sides of the tablet and landscape, and they are probably a tiny bit above average in terms of quality. It's nothing compared to the iPad or the Mi Pad 2, but it's also not terrible either. Volume-wise, it's actually pretty decent, so check it out for yourself. Be here if it wasn't for him. On this day in 1996, the world escaped the clutches of extinction. Your father was the bravest man I've ever seen. The Chewy HI12 has a massive 11,000 mAh battery, but keep in mind that it's also powering a 12 inch screen with a super high 2160 by 1440 resolution. As such, I'm expecting about decent to above average battery life. Let's see how close I am. First, I tested the battery life in both Windows and Android. So, first, I did Android. I reloaded a web page every 10 seconds, and the tablet died after 8 hours and 2 minutes. I then looped a standard definition video until the tablet died, and it lasted for 8 hours and 45 minutes. I then repeated the same test in Windows and I got 8 hours and 20 minutes for web browsing and 8 hours and 55 minutes for video playback. So a little bit more battery life on Windows than Android. Here's a more real life example. I unplug at about 6am, I re read some news, surf the web and read Reddit for about 3-4 to four hours. I play games, well, game, mainly Hearthstone for about an hour or so, and when I plug it back in at about 11pm, I have about 25% left. Battery life is actually way better than I expected. I can easily make it through a day with this, maybe even two. I would say that only very very heavy users need to carry around a charger, otherwise you're gold. The HI12 comes with Windows 10 and Android 5.1 pre-installed. The HI12 uses the inside BIOS to switch between both, and is fairly well implemented as far as dual boot devices go. Let's start with Windows. So far Windows 10 on this tablet has been quite responsive. 
but you still see the occasional stutter probably because of that insanely high resolution. It's definitely still pretty smooth though. The Cherry Chill processor and 4 gigs of RAM keeps the HI12 chugging along. Basic things like web browsing and Word ran no problem and I could play 1080p videos without a problem as well. I was able to stream 4K videos as well, but only on web browsers like Edge and Internet Explorer and not Chrome. Weirdly enough though, Edge is generally smooth but Chrome is not. Seems like Chrome really isn't well optimized compared to Edge. I see the same thing on other tablets with similar processors like the Chewy VI10, Chewy HI10, and Asus T100, except it's a lot less of a difference than here. However, very CPU intense things like CAD software or video editing either don't run at all or run extremely poorly. But keep in mind that this is an Atom chip, which is not meant to replace your work computer with, I don't know, 512 gigs of RAM and one petabyte of data. I played a couple of games on the Chewy HI12, Hearthstone, Dota, and Asphalt 8. You have to bump down the resolution to the lowest to play these games. I also ran Crystal Mark as well, and the Hynix EMMC inside gets pretty decent scores as well. Let's move on to Android. You move from Windows to Android using the Switcher program, and I searches in about 40 to 50 seconds. Android is actually a tiny bit smoother than Windows 10, which is really impressive considering the high resolution, and stuff is generally fluid. I played a couple of games, Clash Royale, Asphalt 8, and uh, Disney's Crossy Road. <laughs> so, Asphalt 8 is actually pretty good when you put it down to low settings. Crossy Road is good as well, and Clash Royale, there was a tiny bit of lag as well. I ran in 2 2 and got a score of about 54,000. One of the strong points of the tablet is connectivity. There's the standard Bluetooth, Wi Fi, and HDMI, and those work pretty well. You also get one USB 2 and one USB 3 port, which gives you some insane speeds when copying to and from a USB 3 device. If you plug in an external hard drive, it will provide that hard drive power through the USB, provided that hard drive doesn't require an actual power plug. If you get the keyboard dock, you also get an extra USB port as well. Chewy is definitely stepping in the right direction, adding USB ports, a stark opposite from Apple who recently got rid of all the USB ports except for one in their razor-thin 12-inch MacBook. Cameras here again are terrible, you get a measly 5 megapixel back camera and 2 megapixel front camera and they are both really bad or not that good. But then again, your main purpose for buying a tablet is definitely not photos. And if you wanted a tablet for photos, you probably wouldn't get this one just because of how big and heavy it is. Imagine how tired your grandma would be holding up an 854 gram tablet to take photos of her grandkids during a wedding or something. So what's the verdict here? You get a pretty decent Atom Cherry Show processor, 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage, and dual booting Windows and Android. Let's move on to the best part of the tablet, the screen. It looks absolutely amazing, I just cannot get over how good the screen looks. There is also occasional lag because of the super high res, whether it's an Android or Windows, but it's pretty seldom. Is this tablet perfect? Well no, I don't think I can ever find a perfect laptop or tablet for myself at least because I'm really picky. Unless I spend like over $2,000 on a top end surface book. But you know what, this Chewy HI12 at $240 MSRP, it comes pretty close. And I could stare at the screen all day. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Be sure to check out any of my other videos as well.